Hello, Hello I'm Tara everyone. from livingonadime.com. Living on a dime. To grow rich. Dot, well, not dot com. Well, it is dot com. You can do that too, but we just figured most people wouldn't want to type in living on a dime to grow rich. Dot com. But if you want to type in living on a dime to grow rich. Dot com, to grow rich. Dot com, you it'll feel say, free. It'll say to type in living on a dime. Five internal server error. You don't have it linked over there. I don't have it linked yet. <laughs> that was on your to do list. Living on a dime oh, to grow so rich. Don't, dot com. So don't go no, type in living on a dime to grow rich. Dot com. You're not going to get anything. Uh, so today we are talking about one dollar dinners. We, <laughs> I'm the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. We have over 1,200 recipes and tips in here to help you save money on your grocery bill. Yes. Whew, that was a mouthful. Yep. And we are making chicken pot pie on page 255 yay now i am not following the recipe exactly like it's in the book what else is new huh but but there's a good reason for it so one of the big search terms that we've discovered for cooking is recipes that you can use with white sauce so if you don't know what white sauce is white sauce is the gravy that you have on chicken fried steak or that you have with sausage and gravy it's a white saucy gravy okay people used to make their casseroles like chicken pot pie with white sauce instead of a canned soup milk mix like cream of mushroom soup okay and so now because we have wonderful, you know, canning methods and all this great stuff. You can use cream of whatever you want, insert your favorite, soup mix, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery. And so the recipe in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 255, calls for one can of cream of chicken soup, but you'll note it says page 161. And what that is, is, oops, wait a minute. Um, the recipe, what? Right here, the recipe for cream soup mix, if you don't have any on hand. So I am making the white sauce version of cream soup mix. But like I said, this is like one of three recipes or so in the entire book that use a can of cream soup mix. Now, Dave, can you go turn off the um, water in the backyard? Um, the way Grandma used to make it is with the white sauce, okay? So what I have here is I have a tiny bit of water, about a half a cup of water, in my pan that I'm going to bring to a boil, and I'm going to use a bouillon cube, okay? And that's going to give it that little extra flavor of chicken bouillon in it. <clears throat> um, now, if you want, you could use chicken broth instead, or chicken stock, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. Um, you cannot use chicken noodle soup. That would make it go all wonky. I mean, it would be okay, but it would be a little strange, okay? Now, while this is dissolving, so I'm dissolving the bouillon cube in there, and while this is dissolving, I'm going to get my base made for my chicken, okay? So I've got some chicken here that was frozen in the freezer, okay? Mm, put it all in there, okay. Got that. Now, it calls for a bag of frozen vegetables, and that's totally fine. But I had some canned vegetables that I need to use up. So, uh -oh. what I'm doing is draining the liquid off the, off the vegetables here. So, can I tell you one thing real quick? Sure. Denise said, I can't believe you're making pot pie today. It's National Pot Pie Day. Seriously? 
This is Denise who's always telling us it's national whatever day. Whatever day. Denise, that is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Denise, I should have you. I think you sent it to me before and I lost it. The list of whatever day it is and I should just make a recipe for whatever every day it is. Okay. So like I said, one can of frozen is fine. But I am doing my own mixed vegetables here just because... I happen to have these cans of stuff that I need to get used up. So that's what I'm doing right there, just mixing it all in. Okay, so now, there we go. Okay, got them all in there. Now, you can see here, can you see how my bullion cube has dissolved? Get that last little bit as I steam up the camera, okay? All right, now, are you in a position where you can show what I'm doing back here? Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Sorry. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flour for my white sauce and, oh great, who walked off with my whisk? Oh. Oh, they put it in the wrong spot. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Okay, so then I have my cold milk here with my flour. And I'm going to stir my flour. Can you see that? Stir my flour until it's all gone. Now, when you have lumpy gravy, it's because you did not put your flour in a cold liquid first or cornstarch in liquid, cold liquid first and get it stirred up and then put it in your gravy, okay? All right, so here we go, pouring that in. And okay, we're gonna stir until this gets thickened. I'm gonna put in a little bit of seasoned salt, just because, okay, for both of them. Probably didn't need to do it in both, I guess, but that's okay. All right, so then we're going to let this thicken up. Get it all thickened up here. Like so, okay? So we're just gonna stir this until this gets thick. Now, when this gets thick, it's done. I'm gonna put in some butter and I'm gonna have my white sauce just like the canned stuff, but homemade, okay? All right, any questions while this is thickening up? Um, sorry, just a second. Uh, okay, as far as the picture, those of you are asking, we were having a little technical problem. I think it's improving, but we're keeping an eye on it. We are getting a new system next week. Hopefully, it'll be here next week. We're getting yeah. a new system next week, so hopefully that will... Should have yeah make it a lot easier let's see uh questions oh kelly well kelly wanted to know did you decide to get a pressure cooker okay i did not <laughs> so one of our viewers ever so kindly sent me a pressure cooker so i could become one with the pressure cooker and then donna one of our other viewers sent me an air fryer that she had i was like okay <laughs> And so both of them wanted me to become one with them. Donna had hers and just didn't use it. And she said, well, maybe you can use it. Well, okay. Millie okay. says, so happy. Literally just got the ingredients yesterday to make this. My first recipe to try from Dining on Dining Cookbook. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a casserole recipe, guys. And you can pretty much do whatever you want. But can you see the white sauce there? See how that yummy that looks and nice and thick? This is the same thing as your cream of whatever soups, okay? All right. There we go. Get that out of the way. Got my burner turned off. Okay, so now I have, oh, and I forgot my onions. Forgot to put in some onions. Um, yeah, so Donna sent me that. So far, the air fryer, has not been very successful.
still working on that. Trying to figure out how to use it, right? And we're working on writing an Instant Pot cookbook, and my assistant gave up. <laughs> and said, Heidi, who thing, loves the Instant Pot, is the loving one, it as much. The one who was convincing me to buy the Instant Pot gave up and said, okay, I'm going to let you and Janelle write the cookbook because I'm totally frustrated with this thing. That's not exactly the word she used. But I won't use the words that she used for all of you Instant Pot lovers because, you know, I don't want to offend you, but... <laughs> okay. Now. Oh, it needs a little bit more salt. Okay. Now, I'm also going to dump in here. This is crazy, but I have this thing of chicken and chicken broth baby food. <laughs> I got this for free yeah. and I'm like, what am I gonna use it for? Is that that stuff that they're getting rid of that we yeah. took? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, waste not, want not. It'll just add a little bit of extra flavor. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Then you're gonna take your pie plate Actually, one, this one probably makes two pot pies. And you know what I think I'm going to do? Actually, Dave, hand me up there the um, left side, the silver things right there. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah, no, the one that's uh, below the plates. That's a smell I have not smelled in a long time. Baby Almost, food? Yeah, and, and even since we hardly ever made it. Or since we hardly ever bought it because we made it. Okay. I think my friend Jamie, her mom is in the hospital. I'm going to take this to them. <laughs> Nebo says, oh, wow, the Instant Pot's not in the trash. <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs> We're slightly more motivated this time. I don't know. We'll see. Some of this stuff has actually turned out pretty good. Not going to lie. Has well, it? Well, the rest did. All right. So... This is going to my friend Jamie, and guys, if you could keep my friend Jamie and her mom in your prayers. Her mom went to the ER and is in the ICU. She, um, her spine is compressing, and she has to go in for surgery. If she doesn't have surgery, there's a 0% chance she'll be able to walk again. If she, if she does have surgery, there's a 50% chance that she'll be able to walk. So they really 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 need your prayers if you would please Jamie's our moderator that's on here all the time so if you guys could please keep them in your prayers and I'll update you she's having surgery on Wednesday so that is just not good all right so I got my milk and my baking mix right here I'm gonna reshare the recipe again as well guys in the comments but it's also in the description and if you can't find it there you can go to livingonadime.com and click show notes at the top and it's there too now one thing guys when you make food to take to friends and family put absolutely everything and i mean everything in disposable containers having been on the receiving end or not so great receiving end of meals from churches and stuff um the few things we did get, it was really annoying having to, I appreciated what we got, but it was really hard, I should say, when you're not feeling good to have to wash dishes and give them back to the people. So I make sure absolutely everything is in disposable containers. And I, a lot of times I'll find packets of these at garage sales, thrift stores, that kind of thing. I got 10 of these for a dollar. You can get them at the dollar store for really cheap. Save your Cool Whip containers, save your yogurt containers for sauces and that kind of thing. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a pan like this and I'll put little foil squares and I'll have the meat, the uh, vegetable, and maybe like a peach crisps and then they can just heat it all up at once and make like an instant family TV dinner. Um, also, when you're taking meals to friends and family, make sure you send paper plates, napkins, and even paper bowls, disposable silverware, 
there's nothing worse than when you're feeling sick to get food and then have to do all the cleanup. So, so Jean is asking what page is this on? I came in late. And is that the sauce or the pot pie? This is the pot pie. I mean, that is this that is the, the topping for the pot pie. Oh, okay. This is the biscuit part. It's on page, two. page 255 in the 20th anniversary edition. <clears throat> and guys, we're going to do a, a giveaway. I've got a classic edition over here and a quick and easy menus. We're going to do a giveaway at the end after we're done talking about $1 menus. Okay. So there, <clears throat> there is the one that I'm taking to my friend. Okay. All right. Now, ooh. okay. Got a little bit of sauce less, but I think I'll just make us one when we're done on the show. Okay. Now, that's, guys, that was absolutely, completely from scratch, easy chicken pot pie, and it didn't even take me, what, 10 minutes? Completely from scratch, and I'm done cooking. You might get to go for your chicken. Yeah. Right. The beauty, the beauty of this is, um, you don't have to have any other sides. This is one complete meal. You've got your vegetables, your meat, your um, carbohydrates, all in one dinner. You could top it with mashed potatoes if you want. You could switch in and out the vegetables of whatever you want to eat, whatever your family likes. It's so versatile. So, okay. Page so, 255, Dining on a Dining Cookbook. So I are... 1003-1981 uh, left us a super chat. Oh, so how nice. Thank you again for that. Thank I appreciate you. that. Jeanette, hey, wow, it's my first time to attend you. You're live. We're really glad you're here. I hope Yay. I said that right. I hope I pronounced well, your good. name right. Well, good. Maybe you'll be our winner. So I have a quick and easy menus from when we were selling this. This is no longer in print. And I have a dining on a dime cookbook. I'll even sign it. Now, this one is is used. It's the one I was using on the show. Well, this is one of several editions that I was using on the show for these last several years. So I'm giving this one away. This is a show copy and it is kind of worn, but maybe somebody will want it <laughs> or maybe they'll just throw it away. Maybe you could sell it for extra. <gasps> since it's a oh, show this copy. is the other edition. Oh, this has the really, this has the really like lots and lots of spirally spirals. Yes. Wow, it has your fingerprints all over it. I know. <laughs> it's even got notes and stuff too. Whoa, it's got it's got elements from these recipes. The it red, does. There's some red velvet cake right there. It does. <laughs> but there are some people. There's the frosting right here. See, it's red. <laughs> wow. Okay, now I feel now I feel bad. I was just gonna give it to the goodwill, and I thought, well, well, okay. I'll give you a copy that looks in better shape than this. But we'll do a giveaway when we're done talking here. All right. Now, <laughs> it's in rough shape. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll give you one that's cleaner. All right. Let's talk about $1 meals. Now, I will be the first to admit, every time I hear somebody say, you can do di dinner for your family of four or five for $10 or less. I just want to scream, stop spending so much money. You do not have to spend more than $5 for a really nutritious home cooked meal for your family. And I do it for six of us. Did do it for six of us. I guess we're not six it's anymore. It's getting to be less. Yeah. <laughs> but I was doing it for six of us. And so I'm going to read through some of the um, dinner ideas and recipes here. And then I'm going to also answer a question that we received on our Facebook page. And by the way, guys, if you have not joined our newsletter, go to livingonadime.com and you'll see a newsletter sign up. It says free newsletter. We have 20 recipes in, was it 22 or 20? For what? For the cookbook. For the oh, the, oh uh, I can't remember. I, I can't remember if it was, I thought, no, it was 20, 20. No, it was 22. 22 recipes Sorry. in 20 minutes. We have that e-cookbook. It's free, livingonadime.com, on our newsletter. Uh, and you can go sign up there and get that. Yeah, in the it says free newsletter, and you just sign up yeah. there or on the side. 
and then the once site. a week we email you with tips and um, ideas on how to save on your grocery bill okay so what are some of the recipes that you can cook for under a dollar now I had my wonderful assistant Heidi did this for me back in February or March I think <laughs> Uh, so Sunshine is asking, are these $1 ideas in your book? And uh, they're not. Yeah. Or are they? Yeah, they are. They're, they're all in the oh, book. Okay, cool. Yeah. And they're also, we just posted the ones that Tara is going through yeah. on the website, livingonadime.com. Yes. So go to livingonadime.com. You can get all of these ideas, all the links to the recipes, but they're also in our Dining on a Dime cookbook right here. Okay. So Heidi went through back in, I don't know, February or March, and I've just been trying to get this done. And um, went through some of our menus and priced them out for me. For Denise and Turid. Should I show them? <laughs> Denise and Turid, just wanted to show you. Buster's, There's Buster. He's enjoying being the assistant here. Oops, I hope you saw that. He's enjoying being the assistant on the show. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so what are some of the recipes that cost under a dollar per person to make? Are you ready? Cheeseburger rolls with sliced cucumbers and ranch dressing. That total recipe cost is $1.50, and it's about 25 cents per, per, per serving because it serves six. Homemade Hot Pockets with baby carrots and ranch dressing. It is $1.35 for the entire recipe, 23 cents per serving for just the main dish and about 50 cents per serving for the whole thing. Meatloaf with salad, just over a dollar per serving for the whole thing. Chicken and dumplings, total recipe cost $1.65, 42 cents per, per, per serving. Chicken pot pie, right here, 51 cents per serving. Uh, stir fry over rice, 44 cents per serving. Ham and bean soup, 17 cents per serving. Guys, that's super cheap. Ham and vegetable pot, uh, 15 cents. Ham casserole, 47 cents. Navajo tacos, 33 cents. These are all per serving. Green chili with rice, 50 cents. Che cheese enchiladas with rice, 75 cents. Quesadillas with rice, 50 cents. All of these here, guys, are a dollar or less. And most of them are or less. Most of them are under 50 cents. So you can do really inexpensive meals. Are you capturing um, comments? Really inexpensive meals without a lot of expense. Now, let me get to questions and then we're going to talk about a comment that we, or a question we got on the Facebook page. So far, it's not a lot of questions, just mostly comments. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, no. Oh, actually, Rebecca's asking somebody else how many people she cooks for. Okay. Uh, let's see. Eddie's twin says chicken tostadas tonight for dinner. We have a lot oh, of people yeah. reporting in on what they're making today. Yeah, a, a those are really good. Number of people looking forward to actually the used cookbook. Uh, I love we, your kitchen. You're so real. We're so real. Yes. Yeah, we are real. Unfortunately, a little too real sometimes. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, Ginger said it's a loved cookbook. Yes. Do you guys like my little Scottish mug I got from Scotland? Isn't that cute? Uh, Let me see. From Inverary. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, very cute. Um, okay. Kathy says, thanks for your to your advice a long time ago. I did just that. made two dishes and put them in foil pans and gave paper plates, napkins, and plasticware, and it was great. Thanks. Good. Yes. Always, when you go to take people meals, please, 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 when we were sick... Okay, when we were sick, the people bringing in our meal thing did not go very well. You can go watch the Penny Myth Pension Mama series and hear about that. But from that experience, we learned how to help people out in a way that's actually helpful when they're not feeling well. And one of the things is, is please put everything in disposable dishes so they can just throw it away. Because it's super hard when you're not feeling good to have to wash dishes and all that. So... Uh, Nancy made the 90 minute rolls this weekend. She said, made 12 large cinnamon rolls. And oh yeah, they're really good. Yeah. And it makes yep. really good cinnamon rolls too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, uh, sorry, Lorraine had a question earlier. Why did you add sauce, the butter to the sauce? Uh, the butter just gives it a better flavor. And yeah. 
and how much you use it's on the recipe uh, yeah it's for, on the recipe i'll share the white sauce recipe again here uh, um della have i used the air fryer yet well ellie and i have tried about four recipes in it and so far hasn't been too good <laughs> ellie made air fried oreos like four times yeah <laughs> and the instant pot you know, we were going to work on an Instapot recipe book because everybody wants it. And here, I'm going to shout out right now for you guys who love your Instant Pot. If you have an Instant Pot recipe and your friends and family say, wow, that's delicious whenever you make it. And it better be, or it needs to be, wow, that's delicious. Um... Email me your recipes, editor at livingonadime.com. Put in the subject line, IP recipe, Instant Pot recipe, whatever, and the title of the, the recipe. And if we use your recipe in our cookbook, I'll send you a copy of the cookbook when we're done with it. Because I'll tell you, we are actually having a really, really hard time finding recipes for Instant Pot that the family will actually eat. <laughs> Heidi has been testing and testing and she has not found one recipe yet that her family likes. And don't send me recipes on how to hard boil eggs. Don't send me recipes on how to make rice. Don't send me recipe on how to make potatoes. Like real recipes like uh, meats, main dishes, I guess desserts if you want. Um, but not the basic things. We already got those down. But we need actual dinners that your family will eat. Well, and also, what what you're finding is that it's not very fast compared to just cooking it the way you normally do. Yeah, right? it's not quicker. So what might be what maybe yeah. would be good is if you have an instant pot recipe you love that seems to be very fast and turns out something. Amazing, I don't think that that's cool. possible. Maybe not. But everything I've looked at, it's not possible. And I'll tell you. It is, in one sense, you can just dump the stuff in and leave it. And I get that. But a lot of the recipes, like the rice, I can actually make it faster on the stove. Now, I get people love it, and that's okay. I'm going to write the book anyway. But um, send us your recipes if you just have one that's, wow, that's delicious. Send it to editor at livingonadime.com and put Instant Pot Recipe in the title of the recipe in the subject line. And if we use your recipe, we'll send you a copy of the cookbook when we get it done. And it's probably going to be, probably going to be seven or eight months at least before we, book. yeah, because we've got two other books in, in the works before it, so. We have a number of people asking where to get the book. I've been sharing the link in the comments, but if you don't find it there, you can go to livingonadime.com and just click store and it's right there. Yep. Okay, so now back to the $1 meals. Now, we had this question. Oh boy, and I know this is going to cause a lot of controversy. Oh dear, and Heidi's sick this week. And Janelle's on it. <laughs> okay, Janelle, you're going to have to take over for Heidi because this is a loaded, loaded question um, that I got. And I know there's going to be a lot of opinions, but this is my channel. And this is my opinion. So if you disagree with me, you better do it in a nice way. Or we're just going to delete this, delete the comments. And this question is so controversial that I probably have to just close down the comments because I can what? see it getting out of hand already. Well, why bring it up then? <laughs> well, because it needs to be talked about. Just because it's controversial doesn't mean don't, we don't need to stand up for what's right. That's true. <laughs> Just because all these people say we shouldn't have guns doesn't mean it's not our right. <laughs> yes. We're going to do it. Okay. So here's the controversial question. Uh, I'm not going to name names or anything, but one of our viewers said, um, I was just curious. I have a friend who's a single mom with three little kids. She gets $230 a month in food stamps, and she never has enough money to buy groceries. And she's always asking to borrow money from me to help pay for groceries. But I see her out drinking and partying 
and she has enough money to go to the bar, but she doesn't have enough money to buy groceries for her kids, okay? So her question was, am I wrong for not wanting to help her out when she comes and asks me for grocery money to feed her kids who are hungry? That's not a loaded question. Are you kidding me? I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, you know what the comments were going to get because this already happened. I had to delete it off of our Facebook page because here's what people started saying. Well, okay, I will say I answered her first and my answer is no. You are not being mean by you not giving her money to buy groceries for her kids. She has the money. She refuses it to spend it on her children. Now, I feel bad for those kids. It's not right. But until Child Protective Services comes in, there's really nothing you can do about it. And what you're doing is you're not feeding those kids. You are supplying the mom with more drinking money. That's just the way it is. Now, I missed part of that story. Now, there were a lot of people that said, oh, well, you're just being judgmental. How dare you judge her? Groceries are expensive nowadays. There's just no way she can feed three kids on $230 a month. Okay, $230 a month isn't a ton, <clears throat> but it is absolutely doable especially if they're little kids, which were under the impression they're like seven years old and under is the impression that we got from this question. That is absolutely doable. And we have proven in another um, show, several shows back, prices all over the United States, Canada, England, Ireland, we have shown groceries are not expensive. It's what you buy for groceries that's expensive. It's buying the juice boxes, it's buying the fruit snacks, it's buying the soda, it's buying the instant oatmeal packets, it's buying the um, donuts, it's buying the chips. All of those things are what's actually expensive. You can go get chicken leg quarters for 99 cents on the expensive side and a lot of places will have them for 39 to 49 cents a pound for chicken leg quarters. You could get one bag of chicken leg quarters for um, $4 here in Colorado, one of the most expensive places in the country now. For $4, you can get a bag, 10 pound bag of chicken quarters that save a lot. And that will feed you and your family for two weeks worth of chicken. And you just divide it up and freeze half and use the half for this week's dinners and then the next week's. Yes. Can I say something real quick? Yes. One thing, I don't think I heard you say this, but if you did, sorry. <clears throat> There's a certain part of you, if, if you really hesitate like that, it probably means that there's something inside you that knows probably not a good idea. That's different than, you know, just not helping somebody that you think really needs help. And I think that that's a sign that, that there's something not so great. And we found more often than not the people who really press their friends are the ones that probably don't really need it so much. And <clears throat> no is a complete sentence. You do not need to explain. If you want to explain, I would keep it short and to the point and say, no, I am not going to help you. If you have money for alcohol, you have money to go buy groceries for your kids. The problem with these kinds of people is that they keep getting bailed out. So they are not put in a position where they have to take responsibility for the way they spend their money. And even getting food stamps is a bailout for her because if she has enough money to spend on alcohol, she's got enough money to be buying food for her kids. So So that was part of the issue I didn't hear about the alcohol. Part. Yeah, so she's out partying and spending money on booze. Well, that's why you feel bad about it because you know it's... And unfortunately, because a lot of people are talking about the kids, but not in a bad way, they're yeah. agreeing, but um, unfortunately, if you give money to the parent because the kids are in need, if the parent doesn't use that money for the kids, it's 
it's not yeah. really helping them to give it. In fact, yeah. it's probably hurting them because it enables the behavior that's mm -hmm. making things worse. Yeah, so I just wanted to, to talk about that a little bit because we get some sort of we get some sort of uh, question like that in one form or another. We know a person that continually, continually asked mom and dad for money. Mom and dad paid rent. Mom and dad paid all the utilities. Mom and dad paid for everything. But she somehow wasn't able to work, but was able to find enough money for booze. So the problem is when you're enabling these people and you keep giving them stuff and giving them stuff, they're just not going to take responsibility. And until you stop, and even then they may not, but that's not your responsibility. So yeah. Lynn says, if you keep uh, helping someone who does that, they'll expect your help and never pull up their own mm -hmm. bootstraps. So it's, it's interesting because when we were looking back, we were realizing we didn't really ask people when we needed things. Mm -mm. And the people that we knew that did were taking advantage of other people. Yeah. And that's kind of the view that we had from being in that situation. Mm -hmm. So so it's a little difficult. And for us, we realized in some of those places where we didn't ask somebody, I think we became stronger from not. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why we, we kind of we really recommend getting your own life in order more than asking other people. Yeah. I mean, there are situations where, you know, people are desperate. But okay, so while normal. Mike is getting comments, <clears throat> if you guys would like the messed up show book on YouTube, we'll do, there's more people on YouTube than Facebook. So here's what I'll do. I'll do one on YouTube and two, or two on YouTube and one on Facebook. Okay, so I'll do quick and easy menus and then I'll do the messed up show book dining on YouTube. Put in there, show. All you have to do is type show. And we'll go through the comments who want a dirty show book, but it's still all there and really good. And then we'll do this one in just a little bit, okay? So actually... Just on YouTube. Lori has an interesting thing. She says if you're going to help your friend make the kids a meal. Yeah. That's not, that's not a bad idea. I mean, I understand what you're no. saying, but if you specifically want to help the kids... <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're going to do about that because... A lot of people saying show, is that what you so said? So they do? want, okay, you guys want, to, so we'll pick from anybody who wants the dirty show book, anybody who comments show and wants the dirty show book, we will do that, and then we'll so you, do So they need to type show if they yep. want the dirty show book. Yeah, If they we'll say pick through somebody. something else, like pick me, is that the regular book? No, that's nothing yet. That's nothing We're yet. just drawing for the I show see. book. So okay. if they only want the show book, okay? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so anyway, you can take it or leave it for that advice, but... <laughs> Bumblebee Junction, $2 bill money for time. You don't know how appropriate that is, actually. <laughs> actually, I was wondering which part. <laughs> that's awesome. So Bumblebee Junction gave us a super chat. So thank you, thank Bumblebee. Thank you. <laughs> What's hilarious is is we were talking about some legal issues that we're going to talk about in a, in a upcoming episode here, and jail could have been a real possibility with that. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that, so that's pretty hilarious. Uh, All right. Actually, Bonnie's got a good point. She says to give your friend a copy of the Boundaries book that we recommend a lot. Well, you know, here's the problem with that. For people like no, no, that... No, no, not to give that person. The person who's wondering about giving it and whether... I oh, should. yeah. Because the thing is, yeah. if you're feeling like something really holding you back and you're feeling really stressed about it, it probably means something in you knows this isn't a good idea. Yeah. She seemed to be good. Um, she seemed to be good about that. Okay, so go through and find the show people and we'll pick the dining for the show. But the Boundaries book helps you be stronger at recognizing, oh, I can trust me in this situation. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, show. Stop. We have Megan Blanchard. Woo! Email me, editor at livingonadime.com, that you won the show book with your mailing address, and we will do that. Okay? And then we're going to do a couple more comments, and then we're going to do a drawing for Facebook and another one for YouTube, since there's so many people on YouTube. Okay. okay. So... 
Go, sorry. Go back to the Facebook part? Yes. Back to the Facebook. Whoa, there's some shows too. Uh, Boundaries is a book by Cloud and Townsend, and it's really helpful for people who have a hard time saying no, and it's really good for people who have family issues where your family, can you get um, comments? Yeah. Family has um, controlling oh. issues and that kind of thing. All of them say show. <laughs> All the comments <laughs> say show. Uh, yeah, and, and, and if you're easily manipulated or you feel stressed a lot about what people say and you're not sure what the right thing, to, it's a very helpful book. And especially yep. if your family has not been very stable. Yeah. So. Okay, let's see what other questions we got here. Everybody's saying show, 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 show. <laughs> Is that the only show book? For the moment, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, no, I've got more show books. I've got like 10 show books, but I was going to dole them out. Okay. So are we choosing over here? No, we were just looking for extra comments. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, everything says show, so... Uh, oh, let me see what we had over here. So we're just in the normal comments okay. right now. All right. So since there's no other comments, we will go ahead and give away quick and easy menus on YouTube only. So type in quick and we'll draw from somebody who would like our quick and easy menus. This one has 150 recipes and 60 meal plans right here. This is not in print any longer. We are going to be making it into another uh, bigger cookbook on YouTube, YouTube guys. And then we'll do a cookbook for Facebook. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. We'll, I'll count to 10. Give you everybody in who wants to do quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay. Stop. You should count in French. <laughs> you and your French are about ready to strangle you. Those all say show. Now go down. Oh, Let's okay, do sorry. Stop. Or not. Celeste Otto Kier. Woo! All right, congratulations, Celeste. Email me, editor at livingonadime.com. Tell me you want a quick and easy menus and your L address. Okay, Facebook. Guys, on Facebook, type in dining, and I will give you a classic copy that's in better shape than the show one, classic dining. And we will um, draw here in just a minute. Um, so the Boundaries book, while we're waiting for everybody to put in dining, who wants to enter? Um, you're asking me to get comments, Facebook. and you're telling people to flood with comments for the book. <laughs> you are better than that. You I'm can find enough. the extra, you can actually find the comments. You know, Facebook only shows us like 30 comments. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Back to the boundaries thing. The boundaries book is really good, but it can kind of backfire on people who are self absorbed. Well, not really self absorbed. Well, yeah. Self absorbed people will take advantage of it. If, yeah. If they read the boundaries book. Yeah. You're saying? So you kind of have to be careful because it's really it's a really good book, but the wrong person with the wrong personality will take what they say in there wrong and not use it correctly. Or use okay. it to manipulate people. Yes. Okay. Scroll through Facebook, through the dining. <laughs> Sorry, through dining. Yep. Stop. We are on Susan. Posmeto. <laughs> Susan Posmeto. I probably slaughtered your name. I'm sorry. A classic dining on a dime. Yay. Email me, editor at livingonadime.com, and I will mail those out to you. And the other day when we get, did the competition, Tiffany was actually our first person who said Mike, um, M the beef stroganoff was Mike's first dinner I ever cooked for him. Uh. So I, I'm sending her a book too. So, okay. Does anybody have any comments or questions while I am getting the pot pie out of the oven? Type those in real quick and then we will go when we get the last of the comments and questions. So one thing on the boundaries book, as people are talking about, can you get it on Amazon? Yes. And let me share. Um, go to livingonadime.com slash store. And we're in there. It's an no, no, affiliate link. But sorry, they're looking for boundaries book. I know. It's in our store. It is? Well, it was. Oh, I was unaware of that. Okay. 
it's an affiliate link, but if you go there, we have it in our store and it's right there. You mean the Amazon store? Yeah. But that's not, you said livingoutadime.com forward slash store, but that's only our books. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. The it's, Amazon it's store. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash living on a dime. That's my fault. I just shared it in there and you can also go to livingonadime.com and click show notes and it's there. Yeah, that's but my fault. It's, sorry. it's listed on that page. That's our Amazon thing. If you get, if you get it there, it's the same price that you would pay at Amazon, but we get a tiny amount of that. Yeah. For, what is for my shows. favorite dish to make? Can you guys see the pot pie? It's super hot, so Here, I hate to... Me. Our camera operator had to go pick up our future camera operator. <laughs> so, okay. There you go. Yes, here, let me even get a closer shot here. So I'm probably going to send this one over to wow, my friend. Wow, that's really good. Jamie, whose mom is in the hospital. Once again, guys, Jamie is a moderator here. And if you guys didn't hear, her mom is has a very bad spine issue. And if she doesn't have surgery... She won't walk, and if she does have surgery, there's only a 50% chance that she may walk. So Sorry for the camera shake, guys. Please um, keep her in your prayers. So I know somebody out there is wondering, if you wanted to really have, like, have guests over and really pretty up the this um, pot pie, you could put it in like a one of those little round containers and make individual yeah. ones and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is my favorite gluten-free lunch? Salads like tuna salad, chicken salad, egg salad <laughs> on lettuce is usually what I eat. Or a gluten-free sandwich, bread toasted with um, lunch meat and lettuce and mayonnaise. Dave's announcement, they still aren't launching it yet. And we... We're going crazy because it's so cool. I can't wait to tell you guys. It's like mega ultra cool. Um, but yeah someone earlier asked i can't remember who it was asked if we if it would be better to buy baby carrots or to cut up full-sized carrots it doesn't matter um i prefer the baby carrots because they taste a lot better yeah it just depends um did you see that Annie, doing groceries your style number four was nerve wracking for me last month. I was terrified of running out of food before running out of month, but it worked amazingly. Thank you. You're welcome. It works, doesn't it? Thank you, Annie. Yep, it does work. Okay, next questions. Sorry. Uh, okay, here you, you want to. All right. Um, did I win the five thousand dollars? Ha! You're so funny. Well, You're welcome, we, Mrs. We... T. Was one of the winners the your, my version of this crust is so uh -oh. easy yes it is um super super easy uh -oh. um all right let's see what else oh. is happening Remakes. i've always been an over planner complicated excel sheet itemized monthly grocery list down to the dollar, we are very rural, big family, tight budget. I had doubts, but your way is freeing. Yay! So I'll have to say, I saw another YouTuber the other day, and I'm not going to say who it is. Because <laughs> at first I was like, oh, I need to send her my cookbook. Because we have an affiliate program for YouTubers. Well, <laughs> after I saw her menu planning, I'm like, I don't want my book associated with this. It was insane. She went through, and she had a whole month of menus... This huge binder, huge binder, just for menu planning. She went in and made all her menus. Then she went in and itemized every single item she had in her fridge, freezers, and pantry. Every month, she itemizes everything. And then she would go and print out recipes and put them in this binder. And then she would go grocery shopping. It was such a complicated mess. I was like, how in the world does your brain not explode? So, my method is keep it simple, stop making it more work than you need to, keep 10 meals on plan, planned all the time, and just put those items in your fridge or freezer and just cook out of what you have on hand. So Miss T, who won last week, said, thank you for the book, Tara. Yes. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I was looking through here. Uh, so sorry for Jamie. Yes. Oh, Lynn, I'm sorry. Yes, it's really hard when you've got those issues. All right. Any other last questions? 
Uh, you know, I don't see any, but I was going to say, because a couple of people were talking about the, it looks like it got um, fuzzy. <clears throat> we are actually about to do an equipment upgrade here, which hopefully we will be able to get in the work, you know, into the system next week that we hope will make everything look a lot better. So mm -hmm. we're, I'm kind of excited about that, and we're hoping to have it up as early as next week. Yeah. So. Jamie, everyone is praying for you and your mom. Jamie just showed up, so just to let you know that, my friend. And here's dinner in a day or two for whichever you want. Um, how's BJ doing on his own? He's doing great. He loves it. So We still hear from him sometimes. He's showed up here a couple times to say hi. Yep, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Please like, subscribe, and share. And come back on Wednesday. I have no idea what I'm doing on Wednesday. But because I'm a fly-by-my-seat kind of girl, we'll figure it out about 2 o'clock on Wednesday. <laughs> or, or early <laughs> enough to send something out in the newsletter. Or really enough to send something out in our newsletter. So, yeah. Yay. Well, thanks for coming, everyone. We will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a good night. It's going to take me just a minute. Oh, it's going to take him just a minute. So feel free to talk a little more. So I'll sit here and sing. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> Keep it simple, people. Don't make it too hard. <laughs> if you do... Your brain will explode, and then your husband will have to clean it up off the ground. Oh. <laughs> Just Mike's kidding. telling me I gotta quit. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.